Hi, my name is Cheryl Adams, and I'm an interior designer and set decorator for TV and film. The name of my company is Lux Interiors and Events out of Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm coming to you today from Horizon Home Furniture, also out of Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're going to do something really, really simple, very easy, so just put all your concerns at rest. We're actually doing a centerpiece using wine and cheese. Can't get much simpler than that. And for what we're doing, we're actually going to use artificial pieces so we don't have to worry about getting cheese all over the place and grapes everywhere as well. But if you were doing this at home, you could definitely feel free to use uh, real product. Um, your specialty stores, as well as your regular grocery stores nowadays, carry a huge variety. Um, you can go get everything from rounds, quarter rounds, um, you can get cubed. Uh, bars, so just whatever works for you and what the event that you're doing. Um, if you're doing a wine and cheese party, you might want to already have it pre-cut. But for what we're doing, we're just creating the foundation for your serving setup. Um, we're going to use wine glass. Wine glasses too, you can get different types today. You can get uh, stem with, without stems, with stems, you can get large bowls, small. In this case for this red wine glass, I do like the large oversized exaggerated bowl um, for a uh, easily handling as well as just for the look of the what we're doing. What we're going to do is take two artificial grapes again, two different types just for color variety. We're just going to use two different colors of grapes just for visual variety so we can have there just stuff them. There's no particular order just make sure that they're nice and have some over pouring out there. We're going to get again use artificial cheese so we're going to put a wheel over here that's already been pre-cut and we're going to do just Place in here uh, some of your typical uh, pieces. We're going to use cheese, bread, and again the grapes, which is what comes normally with this type of setup. Again, you don't have to worry about if you're doing anything right or wrong. You can't go wrong. And again, all done for color and adding a variety. And there you go, we have a wine and cheese centerpiece. Again, how easy and simple is that? 